This animation is a reenactment of a tragic workplace incident. The result? Three fatalities, two serious injuries, and the potential for more. This animation presents a chronology of events. Viewers should refer to WorkSafe BC's investigation report for the in-depth examination of causes and contributing factors. On September 5, 2008, at a mushroom composting facility in Langley, British Columbia, workers were attempting to clear a blocked pipe in a pump shed when the incident occurred. Three related businesses are located on this farm. HV Truong Limited, a mushroom growing company. Farmers Fresh Mushrooms Incorporated, a mushroom packaging and marketing firm. And A1 Mushroom Substratum Limited, a mushroom compost producing company. The incident occurred at A1 Mushroom Substratum Limited. A pipe system was built to supply fresh water and process water from two tanks. These tanks are located within a walled containment area. The water mixture is pumped from these tanks into composting barns and sprayed onto composting piles containing straw, chicken manure, and agricultural gypsum. These are common ingredients used to make mushroom compost. Rain from barn gutters and well water is directed to the fresh water tank. Process water is collected from several sources, surface water, the air filtration system, and runoff from compost spraying that contains manure, straw, and gypsum. These sources are directed to the containment area and then pumped into the brown water tank. Operational problems and reduced compost production caused the brown water tank and the containment area to fill with process water, straw, and sludge. Excessive rainfalls added to this accumulation in the brown water tank and containment area. In 2006, because of this accumulation, the pumps and pipes originally installed near the bottom of the containment area were raised to prevent water damage. In 2007, a shed was constructed against the containment wall to protect the pipes and pumps from freezing in cold weather. On the day of the incident, the workers were in the pump shed attempting to clear a blockage at a valve in the pipe between the brown water tank and the pump. The supervisor was at the shed entrance directing two workers who were standing in the water and sludge. One worker opened and closed the valve but was not able to free the blockage. In an effort to access the blockage, the workers removed eight corroded bolts from the valve flanges and loosely installed four new bolts. Worker 1 pried the top flange from the valve with a screwdriver, then used another screwdriver to pull out material, including straw, that was stuck in the valve. Liquid started to flow out of the separated connection. As the worker pulled material out of the valve, he told the supervisor that he smelled something strange. The supervisor told the workers to get out of the pump shed. Worker 1 turned toward the entrance and fell face first into the process water. Observing worker one fall, the supervisor went down to help. The supervisor together with worker two managed to lean the collapsed worker against the shed wall. Worker 2 remained with the collapsed worker while the supervisor climbed out of the shed. The supervisor then phoned the owner, telling him Worker 1 had fallen into the water and to call 911. 
The owner was in his office with worker three when he received the call from the supervisor. Worker three went to the pump shed to help. Worker four came from the composting barn to help. The owner ran from his office in the growing barn to wait for the ambulance at the front of the property. Worker 5 and Worker 6 arrived at the shed together. They both entered the shed, but Worker 6 climbed back out. Ambulance services arrived and the owner directed the ambulance to the pump shed. Upon arrival, the ambulance attendants observed a group of workers with a ladder preparing to enter the shed. The supervisor was outside, disoriented and in breathing distress. The ambulance attendants observed workers collapsed inside the shed. They suspected a hazardous atmosphere and stopped anyone else from entering. The fire captain arrived and also helped prevent workers and the owner from entering the shed. The ambulance and workers moved away from the shed. The actions of these first responders in identifying the hazard and stopping workers from entering the shed likely prevented further casualties. Fire rescue arrived, donned breathing apparatus, and prepared for a confined space entry. Fire rescue removed five workers from the shed. Three workers were pronounced dead at the scene. Two workers and the supervisor were transported to hospital. The two workers suffered serious injuries. The supervisor received medical attention and was released. WorkSafe BC's investigation report which examines the causes and contributing factors that led to this tragedy, is available at WorkSafeBC.com.